Okay, and for the fourth and final tutorial, what I've done is I've had to do quite a lot of motion tracking um, for when I need to superimpose the door uh, that was made digitally. Was made did uh, what was made digitally, digitally was made in post, in post production. Was here. As you can see, Tana walks through the door, the real door, and she sees two doors that are made in post production in front of her. Now, this wasn't just magic, this was careful planning and careful consideration whilst on set um, with the production team, which was only three of us. All we had to do was, if I show you here, I will solo this door. And our background plate, and our footage. If I can find it, here we go. Okay, cool. So we've got the background plate with the key of the real door, and with the door here. Now, how we accomplished this uh, was if I take off my background plate and if I get rid of the door now on the clips here that we used we use these two track points here on here and then on here these two track points are going to be used for when we tracking the motion or, or to stabilize motion. Now we use the track motion here and we set our track points for position and the rotation as well. Rotation because it was handheld and there was quite a lot of camera movement and the camera did move on a slight axis um, when being controlled. And all that we would do from here, we we'll to apply our track points and then we would just track the motion forward. And you can see they're sticking to those track points. Ooh, not the greatest. We can always go back and fix that by resetting our track points. So let's just reset that. Let's zoom in a little bit here. This puppy here isn't going to like it. Okay, let's widen the search area for it here. And bring this one up in the middle. And try again. Not a bad motion track if I might say so myself. Once that's tracked, all we would do is we create a null object and we would apply this tracking data to the null object and then we would then apply that to our JPEG image of the door. So once I insert everything for you here, as you can see the same clip motion tracks through the door here so all we would just get our door image which was here and we apply the tracking data to the door and then we would have it move in 3D space as well and all I would do normally is I would just duplicate these doors and I would just move it back across in 3D space uh, so we have the double doors next to each other to create that extra added illusion as well I know Fancy, I know, try the best. And that's how I did the motion tracking for Limbo. That's all the tutorials that I have for you today. Um, this has taken me a rather long time, so I hope you've understood this. And my next step is going to be is rendering out the composition and After Effects, sending it back into Final Cut Pro, resync the audio, 
and export it into Compressor for the DVD presentation for my hand. And thanks for watching and goodbye.